Hey, I'm glad you could stop by again. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to use the Find My iPhone app. I'm going to show you what it is, how to set it up, and how to use it. I'm your iGadget lady. I do the research so you don't have to. So stick with me. Now the first thing we're going to discuss is what is Find My iPhone? It's an app and service provided by Apple that allows remote location tracking. Not going to read all that, but that's what it does. If you lose your iPhone, iPad, iPod, or Mac, this particular app is going to help you find it. So let's dig in and I'm going to show you how to set it up. Okay, now let's go ahead and set up Find My iPhone on our new iPhone, or maybe even your old iPhone if you haven't set it up yet. So what we're gonna do from this home screen, let's tap on settings. Now we're gonna tap on iCloud, scroll down there. If it asks you to sign in, just type in your uh, Apple ID and your password. I'm already signed in, so I don't have to do that. Now, if you don't have an Apple ID, just tap on create a new Apple ID and it's gonna guide you right through that. So what we wanna do now, let's scroll down to find my iPhone. You see mine is in the off position, so I wanna turn this on. Now find my iPhone is enabled. I'm also gonna uh, turn on send last location. Now what that's gonna do, if my battery gets critically low, whatever that means to Apple, it's going to store and actually send the location of the iPhone to Apple when that battery is low. So say, for instance, your battery dies, you lost your phone. When you sign back in to uh, locate your iPhone, it's going to show you where it was last located before that power went out. So there it is. We've got Find My iPhone enabled right now. Now that we've got Find My iPhone enabled, we want to make sure that we set up some extra added security. So in, if you haven't done this, make sure that you have either your passcode or Touch ID and the passcode enabled. So to do that, go to Settings, click on Touch ID and Passcode, and then make sure you've got one set up. I've already got one set up, so I'm not gonna enter it here. So this is gonna restrict access to your iPhone if someone were to find your iPhone. Another thing you can do on here is that you can share your location with your family members as well. So in order to do that, go back to settings, click on iCloud, set up family sharing. And now you can use Find My iPhone to help find your family members' iPhones as well or their iOS device. Okay, now I've got my iPad Air set up because hypothetically, I've just lost my iPhone. So right now, we're going to locate our iPhone. Now to do that, let's just open up the Find My iPhone app. I'm going to go ahead and sign in here. Now it's locating my iPhone. It's gonna ask you to allow Find My iPhone to access your location while you're using the app. Now, this is going to be used to show your location on the map and see how far away your devices are. So, let's check it out. I'm gonna hit allow. All I have to do is tap on the iPhone and go ahead and locate it. I've zoomed out so that you can't see my location. But I want to let you know also what these dots mean over here. The green dot means that the device is online. The blue dot means that uh, I'm currently using it, which is my iPad. And then the gray dot means that it's offline. Now a couple of things happen at the bottom of the screen here. We can click this driving button and this is going to give me turn by turn directions so that I can drive to the precise location of my iPhone. The other thing we can do is click play a sound.
And that's going to help you find it if you just misplaced it in the house. Also, I can put this in lost mode. So lost mode is going to let you lock your iPhone and then track it as well. So you can protect all of your contact information, things like that, photos, access to the phone, just in case someone finds it. You can also erase this iPhone. So say it's been lost for a long while, you still can't find it. You can erase the entire contents of the iPhone. Uh, once you do that though, it can't be located or tracked. Um, it says also if you recover the iPhone, some of the uh, services may be temporarily unavailable after it's restored. Another thing I want to really quickly explore is loss mode because I didn't get into that a lot. There's a couple of things you can do once you turn it uh, or uh, put it in loss mode. So let's go ahead and check that out. Turn on loss mode. Now you can put a phone number in so that if someone uh, finds your phone, they won't be able to open it up or access it, but they can see what you have on that home screen. Let's type in a phone number. Now this is the number I want them to call if they do find the phone. The next step, it's going to show a message on the iPhone, and this is going to be displayed if someone finds this iPhone. And again, uh, the iPhone, it's going to be locked, so they won't be able to get in, but they'll still be able to see this message. This iPhone has been lost. Please call me. Once you type in done, now you are officially in lost mode. So there you have it. That's how you set up and use Find My iPhone. I want to give you another gift. I'm going to give you 21 iPhone privacy and security tips. It's a checklist for you to make sure you always keep your iDevice secure. Again, it's absolutely free. It's my gift to you. I'm going to leave a link for you below. Thanks again for watching. I'm your iGadget lady. I do the research so you don't have to. If this helped you out in the least bit, can you please hit that like and subscribe button? I want to keep bringing you more how-to videos. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.